the 2020 Chevrolet Corvette Stingray. The jury panel for this award is vast, expert, deeply experienced, and so um, winning, you know, a consensus from that group uh, for Car of the Year is really, really important to us and really powerful validation of what we've been doing. The next generation Corvette stands alone as the new standard of precision and performance of engineering and technology, of everything that makes an icon an icon, and a Corvette a Corvette. For us, the cars are so fast, the aerodynamics are really a safety issue. It's not like you can just pen any design and then just apply it over the rest of the body. So doing thumbnail sketches, early ideas, it helps us understand the lay of the land, more or less, you know, the opportunities that we have within the aerodynamics of this car. When you look at the new mid-engine Stingray, you can see the effect of aircraft design. Lean, uh, purposeful surface development, and in particular, the aerodynamic aspects. In terms of the three elements that play a part in that, drag, of course, that's the efficiency of air going over the surface, cooling, and then downforce, keeping the vehicle stable. Those fundamentals were real important at the beginning. And once you nail those down, then it kind of gets into more of the sculpture of the car. We see the car evolving. And we have this great process where it's part art, so hand sculpting clay, and part digital math-based design. So we sculpt the car, then we scan it, and then we'll use numerically controlled machines to recut that surface back on the clay. You go back to the sculptors, and they go start finessing the car, change the surfaces, make them blend together the way you want. We started at the very front of the car, and at the very center of the front of the car is your highest wind velocity. Uh, we don't want a bunch of air under the car, because that creates lift, so we have a bunch of air dams. This next car will have a hybrid rear spoiler that touches down in the middle and then has flows air under it on the outboard corners. Developing the aerodynamics, there are things that we do so that we can see the, the cause and the effect. The Corvette has heat exchangers tucked away behind all of the openings. The air runs down the side of the car and then we actually pump that air through the engine compartment and it's evacuated through the rear wheel openings underneath the car and through vents that we have added to the hatch. It doesn't look like there's any fat in the car at all. All the surfaces are pulled as taut as possible over the mechanicals uh, underneath. And that gives the car a real dynamic energy, something that draws people to it visually. Almost everything is new about this car. And, and of course, for design, we want to leverage that. As we watch the car evolve, we see the themes coming out. We see the car move towards its production shape. We left no stone unturned. We were constantly asking ourselves, could we make something newer, better, more unique? You know, it still had to have the feel and look and maintain the brand Corvette but um, you know, we, we had to do it in a new and unique way. When I come in and see the sculptors and designers and engineers working around the clay model, stepping back, it's like watching a symphony orchestra with the interplay between all the different people to create a unique personality, a character, a soul for a vehicle that people will absolutely resonate with and love. Thank you.